Hello beautiful people, welcome back, Marco Sabaya here and I have a question to ask you. Have you ever been playing your guitar, bass guitar, drums or any other instrument wondering, okay, I want to do that for life. How can I pay my bills being a professional musician? For this reason, I decided to make this video. Let's discuss four possibilities of career path for professional musician. But before we get started, I have something else to ask you. Consider subscribing, smash the like button. It will help me a lot to keep posting videos like that. All right, but now grab your coffee, snacks, because we have a lot to talk. so much maybe my mindset would be completely different I used to have so many dreams but I didn't know how to deal with those dreams how to convert those dreams in a real possibility of career so of course I cannot embrace all the career paths in this video or even go to deeper but anyways let's talk about bar and clubs musicians, side musicians, studio session musicians, author of performers slash artists musicians. All right. And if there is any other career path like songwriter or teachers that you want me to talk about, just drop a comment down below. I will be happy to come out with another video talking about career path. All right, but now let's talk about bars and clubs musicians. Bar and club musicians normally play popular songs from famous artists in order to entertain the audience of a bar or a club. I would say this is the easiest and fastest way to make some money. However, doesn't go too far, because there is nothing much to scale. If you take a look at bands in your city, you can easily find some bands playing the same show, same set list, at the same place weekly for years. But to be fair, I have some friends that are living this life, so it's very well possible to be a professional musician like that. However, don't expect to be a millionaire. First, define the model. Can be you playing acoustic guitar and singing, can be a rock band, singer, guitar, bass, drums, can be a big band, but define the model. Secondly, find people to join you. And finally, make a long set list. Can be jazz, blues, rock, reggae, country, doesn't matter the style needs to be consistent because you need to remember you're going to play for a specific audience so your set list needs to be consistent well the challenge is to find some bars and clubs to play as it is the fastest way to make some money there are a lot of people trying and as i told you before there are so many bands playing the same show with the same set list at the same place for years so maybe that bar or that particular club they are close it to you because they have that band that is going well for so many years so this is the biggest challenge well as many places you play per week as much money you make simple as that Some musicians are there to play parts in a supporting band of an artist. For instance, everybody on the stage playing an instrument behind John Mayer is a side musician. And normally, side musicians are under contract. This contract can cover 
availability, travel conditions, dress code. Why this face when I say dress code? Don't you think dress code is important or it will never be there? Okay, look into Megadeth, one of the most notorious heavy metal band. Since the 90s, all the band members, they must play wearing black. Just try to look any video, watch as many as you want and you understand. For the sake of not getting disappointed, side musicians are not the stars, all right? Nobody is buying tickets to see side musicians. They are there to see the artist. I have a friend, a very good friend, and he is a fantastic guitar player. He used to be a side musician for a Brazilian singer, but he got fired. And you know why? Because he didn't know how to behave well on the stage. What I mean? No. He was not doing anything inappropriate. But every chance that he got, he was there shredding. And of course, that particular singer, he got very, very, very disappointed. Be good musically and visually on the stage. I'm not saying you should be beautiful, but I won't lie to you. You need some style to visually match the group. Try to imagine Nick McCarthy, former Franz Ferdinand and Metallica. Doesn't match. Also, be professional, be on time, keep your instrument in a good condition, all your gear in a good condition. This is essential. Well, it's not easy to find a good contract when you are just starting. But being in a great music college can make a lot of difference because you're going to make a very big network. getting hired but once you have a contract in front of you read it well don't just sign it off it can bring you a lot of obligation and not a lot of money so be smart read the contract and if you're really comfortable to go as the contract is saying go ahead There are so many musicians who play well and so precisely, but they freak out only with the idea of being on a stage. For me, it's crazily the other way around. I love being on a stage, but when someone says it's recording, I freeze. I forget my part. I feel I don't know how to play. I feel stupid. And once I saw an interview with Taylor Hawkins of Foo Fighter saying exactly the same. And I felt so happy. I felt, oh, I am not the only one. Well, there are points that you cannot skip. You need to know how to read score music sheets. You need to play a lot of different styles. You need to be available, especially to work during the night. No skin. Well, apart from the points that I just said, you need to play very precisely and you need to be very used to metronome on your ears. Another challenge is buying an equipment that can cover a very big range of styles. For example, if you're buying a guitar, what is the guitar that can really cover a lot of styles? Same for amplifiers, pedals and pre-amplifiers. You need to really think about that. Well, I don't need to say be available for sessions, but build your reputation. As better you do your job, 
as much you get indicated. And you can start by Fiverr. Upload some content there, upload some videos, showcase your skills and get your first client. This is the career path most of us at least once dreamed about. Being on a stage, playing our own songs, making the crown sing along. <sighs> Such a beautiful dream. But what we don't realize since the day one is, this is the hardest career path we are talking in this video. And why? Because that means much more than playing well and being creative. That means skills like entrepreneurship, business management, marketing, and a lot, a lot, but a lot of persistence. It's like starting a company. You will need to devote time and money, and you need to be very serious when it comes to non-musical tasks. If you are in a band, maybe it's easier to divide those non-musical tasks. Well, you need to create, record, sell and perform your music. You need to create your show. Well, countless challenges, but let's talk about the most important challenge. You need to make your music known and adopted by your audience. You need to advertise, you need to make your music loud. You need to get people to know your music. This is the big, big, big challenge of being a natural artist. Well, I think this part you know. Live performances, merchandising, songs consumption, royalties. So, which career path did you like the most? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you made it to here, smash the like button. Follow me on social media. And for more videos like that, consider subscribe, turn on the notification. Every Monday, a nice conversation like that. But for now, that's all beautiful people. Keep yourself rocking, safe, alive, and kicking. See you!